Have you ever wondered what level to export your final mix before you send it off to CD or online distribution? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the loudness analyzer normalizer option in Mixbus 32C. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles and welcome back to the channel. If you have been mixing and mastering for any length of time, you'll know that the volume you export your track is very important and I'm sure your client expects it to be a certain loudness. So let's go ahead and take a look at this song that I've made and go over some concepts you might want to keep in mind. So if we look at the master bus, we're going to pay attention to this K14 meter right here and also this LAN fader. If you don't see this in your session, you can always go to preferences, signal flow, and check the box for enable master bus output gain control. Or you can also go to session and click on loudness assistant. And this will bring up the box so we can analyze our session. Let's go ahead and listen to what we have so far. You can see that the needle's hidden just below the zero mark on our K14 meter. If you want to hear this mix louder coming out of the speakers, you can always go to your monitor bus and turn up the knob there, or just turn up the knob on your audio interface. But that will not affect the final loudness volume of your exported track. So looking at the LAN option here, we can click on this button. And we come up with this box. And now we're gonna choose Analyze. And this is going to give us a readout of where we're currently standing. So we can click on the analysis report. And we can see that we are in the range of negative 20 LUFS and with a peak of negative 4.8. But if we look at our check boxes down here, we are really within the range of what a CD would want. But we need to get a little bit louder for the Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music options. And if we look here under presets, we can see we have options for Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, CD, and pretty much any online streaming service. So I'm just gonna choose Spotify for now. You can see the gain to normalize is gonna bring this volume up by 3.64 dB. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And now we can listen to our track. Okay, but I want you to notice that the K14 meter has not changed at all. We're still hitting in the same reference point, but just like the monitor bus where I can turn up the monitor knob, I'm essentially using this LAN fader to bring the overall volume up, and that's what's going to be applied on our final export. So if I go ahead and do Control E to bring up our export window, and I'm just gonna choose only analyze for right now because I don't actually need to export anything. We can see we went from negative 20 AUFS to 16.8, and our peaks went from negative four to negative one. So we've raised the volume up a little bit more, and we can also see that our CD, Spotify, and Apple Music is now checked. Now the concept I want you to think about here is just because you can make something louder doesn't mean it's gonna sound better. Thankfully, the LAN fader has no regard to the actual sound of your track. It's just bringing it up or down, but it's the very last thing in your signal chain. So if I crank up this trim knob here, it's gonna be pretty loud and also get very distorted. So let's check that out. That's almost unbearable. So you can hear that the low end is very blown out, very distorted. But even in that situation, we can see what the LAN option will give us. So you can see that we have a very fat waveform from the inline scope. And the gain to normalize is actually gonna bring this down by negative 12 
db. So let's go ahead and apply that. All right, let's go ahead and analyze the export. So we've essentially blown out the master bus, but by bringing down the level, we're still getting it within that range that Spotify and other streaming services want to see. Now let's do something similar, but we're going to add in the limiter and let's listen. So let's analyze this now. And even though our peaks are still within range, our LUFS is drastically blown out. And you can see all these streaming services are X'd out. So this is definitely not something we want to deliver. And just for fun though, let's check out the LAN one more time. And we're going to stay with Spotify just to be consistent. But you can see it's going to bring down the gain by negative seven and we're going to hit apply. So analyze the export one more time. And this is really the main difference here. You can see that we are in the negative 14 AUFS range, which is great, but we are drastically compressing the dynamics of our song and it's just not going to punch as hard as a more dynamic export. So let's do this one last time, and I'm gonna bring the trim back down, but I'm gonna keep it within the zero to plus four range. So let's go ahead and listen. We can see we're getting just a little bit of limiting there, which is fine. And the overall look of our waveform is still nice and fat, but it's not blown out. And we can also use a little bit of drive if you want to. That's gonna cut off some peaks and we can use a little bit of compression. So in a sense, we're really making sure the sound is how we want it and then using the LAN to apply our final level. So here we go, let's check this out one last time. So the gain that normalized is gonna bring it up, you know, 0.10 dB, which is not very much. So that kind of let me know I'm already within the range I wanna be. And just hit apply. And let's analyze the export. So now if we look at these two exports, we can see that one has way more dynamics and the other one is a lot more squashed. So which one do you think will sound better? Well, ultimately that is up to you, but you can use the LAN feature to help analyze the volume of your final mix and make sure you're sending your client the best product possible. If you want to learn more about Harrison Mixbus 32C, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell down below. And in the meantime, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I will see you in the next video.